Hey folks, this is KevMac1982. Welcome back to FM18. This is my playthrough as Liverpool. So since the last episode, we played three games, two in the Premier Division and one in the Champions League. And the one to highlight is the one against Baal. Roberto Firmino got a 10 rating and six goals. So I got an achievement for a double hat-trick, which is really good. And this episode is going to be probably my... Oh, actually, it's two cups that I'm going to play. I was going to say that it's going to be one of my um, my next most difficult game in the league. But we're in the Carabao Cup. I am tempted to make some changes, but I'm also tempted to see if I can progress well and use the FA Cup to make some changes. So I'm in two minds. Let's see if we can see what team they're going to put out. If it's a decent team, then obviously I need to play a decent team too. So let's just get in there. So it looks like they're playing a really good team. So yeah, I think I'm going to put out a strong team. I think I'll probably just leave it as is. Um, I'm going to leave Salah on the bench just because he's still coming back from injury. He's not been um, the best in the world for um, injury proneness. Uh, let's have a look at Savage because he's one of the players that is really, really good on the game. Yeah, he's uh, he's not got a lot more to actually progress. So he's gonna, he's on three stars at the moment. He's going to be potential four stars. I'm going to get an analyst report just to see what it says. Let's see what the report said. High agent fee, which he could get. He's valued at 41 million and an estimated cost is 22.5 million, which isn't bad if we could get him for that much, just you know, profit wise, if nothing else, in the future. So, yeah, let's get back and get onto our team selection. We just make sure that we've got a full bench and obviously all our team is okay at the moment. Matthias De Ligt, he's um, I'm quite shocked about this guy. His, his potential has just gone on to a it's the same as his current, so I don't know how much more he's going to develop. Obviously, everyone's save is different, and everyone's, you know, he's going to develop really a lot different in different um, teams and that. Alexander-Arnold, he's on four stars already out of five. I'm hoping that he can achieve that because he's someone that I'm definitely going to keep for the future. He's only 20 years of age, and already his stats are just growing, growing, growing at the moment. And I think I'm going to actually put him on. And yeah, I think the team is uh, is done there. Mignolet, Tierney, De Ligt, De Vries, Alexander-Arnold, Emery Chan, Goretzka, Keita, Coutinho, Malcolm, Roberto Firmino. Hopefully Firmino can play like he did in the last one and get quite a few goals against Chelsea. Nothing but a win. I think Chelsea have been on a decent run of form and obviously we have. We've not been beaten at all yet. We've come close. I think we've we've scraped through and won a couple of one nilers and we've had a draw. So, you know, it's not all been plain sailing. And the other thing that I did want to mention was my Brexit that I got. So anyone who plays in the English leagues Oh for me I was injured. Let's see what it says. Potential groin injury. I'm gonna leave him on because his condition is um is increasing and it's not too bad. So yeah, the Brexit deal that I've got is that any player outside who's from outside of the UK I need to get a work permit for. So I think that's quite a bad deal because it's a it's a hard Brexit. It's not a soft Brexit. So it's it's in that the game classified I mean that was a good goal. I know I'm still talking but okay. You can watch you can watch the um the screen as Andy Gray said about one of Gerard's goals. Let the pitchers do the talking. Um, so yeah, I got a hard Brexit. Um, the better one is a soft Brexit, where the players are seen as uh, it's either entertainers or something else, and you don't need a work permit for everyone. But obviously, I've been screwed, so I'm I'm displeased with that. But it's one of the things that you've just got to get on with with the game. 
Um, obviously, you can get really shafted by the work permit because you can, um, you know, you can try and sign youngsters, and it'll just say you can't get a, a work permit for them. But what's your option? You can't like send them out to somewhere else to say, you know, get your European Union um, membership because now I need a, a work permit regardless. So it's how you address that problem that I think it's really good. You know, it makes the game interesting. It makes things not be the same in every single one. I know I've seen what other people have had is where it says that you can only have a maximum of 17 foreigners in your squad or something like that. Obviously, that's not good for a team like Liverpool, Chelsea, Arsenal, United or anyone like that because we've got a fair few foreigners in the team. I mean, if you look at mine now, I've got Alexander Arnold, Tierney will be class. He's Scottish, Tierney, isn't he? So obviously he's classed as being from the UK. So yeah, I'd have two players out of the, my starting eleven that are okay, and the rest are all foreigners. But you know what I mean. So Coutinho's got to come off. I'm going to play Salah just because of the team that I'm playing against, and obviously his best position over there is as a winger. Oh, obviously, I jumped the gun as well. So we swap Coutinho for Salah. Give him a team talk. I'm going to say, I have faith in you. He looked happy as well. It's very rare that I get anything like that. I'm going to demand more. Hopefully, we can crack on and get another goal. We're at home, so we should do better than what we're doing, at least in terms of possession as well. Keita. Oh, it's gone in. Courtois should have saved that, I would have thought. It's his first ever goal for Liverpool. While Goretzka's been scoring screamers, Cater's just been doing... He's been quiet. He's just been getting on with his job, getting a good ratings. He's just getting stuck in, basically. So, yeah, I'm happy for him to get a goal, obviously. So, yeah, Brexit deal... It's not the best in the world, but you just got to deal with it. I'm going to take off Firmino, Firmino because he's not playing too well. And the only player that I can bring on is Jota. And I'm going to play him as, I think his best position is a Trequatista in that position. So I'm going to leave him as that, or put him as that, I should say. And hopefully he can play well. Cater again. Is that a penalty? No. Kante. Let's get out at Murata. Oh, just let him walk past us. But De Vries picked it up and knocked it through to Jota. Jota's got a decent bit of pace. Oh, just couldn't find the finish. I need to check his pace again. I think it's 14, maybe. We'll have a little look once this gets whipped in. Ah. Headed out. Goretzka to Emre Chan. Gives it back to the Goretzka and it went to nothing. Jota's pace. Oh, it's gone off again. Alexander Arnold to Malcolm. Or Malcolm. Gives it to Keita. To Goretzka. As I said, Goretzka's been scoring them. Good goal. Obviously, they've had quite a bit of possession, so we're not having all of this game, but obviously, we're doing much better in front of goal. We've not actually seen how many shots they've had on target or anything. That's two good finishes from our two central midfielders. Have a little look. 56 55. They've only had one shot. So we've actually been doing really well in defence, judging by that. And well cleared out by uh, Alexander Arnold, it was. Malcolm to Jota to Salah. Salah's got a lot of pace to burn. Hopefully he can do something. He's whipped it in. Now Jody Alba's cleared it. Malcolm's still got it though. Gives it to Gretzka. Oh my god, he's done it again. Screamer from outside the box. It's an end of season highlight that's going to be included on. So I still haven't even had a chance to have a look at what Jota's speed is or pace. That was well played by us. You know, we didn't give up. We picked up the ball again outside the uh, the box over on the right hand side. Jota's speed or pace. Oh, 16 16 for acceleration and pace, which is really, really good. Obviously, he's still got a lot of potential to grow as well. 
I'm going to make a sub, I think. Tini's looking tired. Emery Chan's looking tired. Goretzka's looking tired. On the bench, we've got quite a few players who could come in. I think I'm going to put my left back on. Ruben Vinagre. How have you pronounced it? It's probably vinegar or something like that. What do I know? I've got a little Polish um, save going at the moment, which obviously you can check out. And the names on there, are, pff, it's difficult for an English-speaking person. I would need someone to actually sit down and go through each and every name for me to understand how to pronounce it. Come on. Oh, really fired up in the second half. So we had 17 shots, 10 on target, which is a decent conversion rate of shots to um to on target. And then obviously the on target to goal is pretty good as well. I mean, they've got Courtois in goal. And he's probably, arguably one of the best, if not the best. The hair is obviously brilliant as well. Look at that. 12-1, one, one drawn. I'm just going to quickly check to see when the actual draw is for the FA Cup so that I can see. You know what? I've just realised something, I think. My next game is Club Brugge. But it's not showing them in the thing. And I've got all competitions on. Ah, okay. I don't know what the hell has happened there. I got really, really confused there. I knew I was playing Chelsea in the next match, but I didn't realise that it was the Premier Division and not the Carabao Cup. So I don't know what the hell happened there. So yeah, I think because I'm I'm qualified for the uh, actual Champions League knockout first round, so I'm going to make some changes, and I will see you very, very soon for that match. We're back with the Club Brugge game. Stupidly, I just started playing the game. I don't know why. Anyway, it's only we've only played a minute. This is the team that I've gone for. I mean, I've made quite a few changes. Mignolet, Alexander Arnold, Gomez, Delict, Vinagre, Henderson, Oxley, Chamberlain, Milner, Firmino. I don't. Think, I didn't mean to do that one, but okay. Mane, Jose. I just switched those around just because <laughs> I don't know what I've done there. Obviously, I weren't thinking. But yeah, I'll start it from the very beginning. You didn't really miss anything. You know, one minute into the game, it's still nil nil. <laughs> I still can't believe I've just done that. And I haven't made a save or anything, so obviously, I can't just rely on that. You know what, this has taken quite a long time, so I'm just going to forward it. Not that you haven't missed anything. Firmino's picked it up on the right. He's going to knock it out wide, I guess, to Alexander-Arnold. No, nope. he's crossed it in. It's gone to no one. The Ox has been beaten in the air. Finagra is going to get one down. You know what, they've just scored an Og. I'll take that. I do apologise for not starting off at the team selection page but um i just got ahead of myself and carried on there but i'm happy to be one nil up come on the reds yeah i'm gonna keep it just purely because it makes more sense You know, if it didn't, if it didn't want to play for me, you know, I would have played Malcolm. Salah, I didn't want to bring him on. He is seems to be injury prone. I don't think it actually says that he is injury prone. No, he's not. But he just seems to have had a few bad injuries or a few injuries. Eighteen pace and eighteen acceleration. He's like a bullet. You know, continue to demand more. We beat them 
Oh no, six one was against Baal. I can't remember what score we actually beat them. Their goalie is injured. It says a hand injury, so obviously <laughs> as a goalkeeper he's got to come off for that. Henderson, what's going to do with it? For, to no one. Rossons picked it up from them. Hubert. Um, okay. And somehow Sadio Mane has been given credit for that one. I don't know how he's just assisted with that. I still don't know how he's assisted with that one. What was it? Did he shout encouragement? Did he shout for me now? Shoot, shoot. I just don't know. No, he's, he hasn't actually been given the assist. It's just a, you know, a bug or whatever. I mean, the only the other reason why I took quite a few people off there, they had high injury risks in their uh, risk assessment. So obviously, I didn't want to risk them at all. It's a bit of a nothing game. Obviously, we want the run to keep going, but on the other side of things, we do want to um, ensure that we've got a full team or a decent team to field in the Premier League in the next game. Firmino scored again. Oh, my God. If he carries on the way he's going, he's definitely going to get some form of top goal scorer, whether it's just in this competition or in overall, or I don't know. Might get the golden boot. Sorry about that. I had to put a cut in there as well because the postman came. So it's just come on to half time. And we're going to say, I'm very happy with how things are going. So keep it up, guys. Let's get out there. I might as well have left this match. I might as well have done the next one. <laughs> but oh well. We're winning 3 0. We're quite a few changes in there. Obviously, it's a really strange centre of midfield that I've got playing at the moment. I'm just trying to keep an eye on the condition of everyone, just to make sure that we're not going to overdo it. Manny complains that he wasn't getting enough games, so I said to Jordan Henderson, you know, can you sort it out for me? And he dropped it. <laughs> Which is probably one of the, the reasons why I'm still keeping Henderson at the moment. He's doing a good job in actually calming everyone down. Man, I don't know what the hell you were doing there, mate. Oh, and De Vries got beat. No, De Ligt got beat to it. The Arby, miles wide. I might bring Curtis Jones on. Yeah, I think I'm going to replace Milner. His conditions slightly going down. Obviously, everyone's having a really good game today, except for Jota. Uh, where are we? Milner for Curtis Jones. He's one of my youngsters. He can go to a three and a half potential, which isn't bad. He's not the best in the world, but I'm hoping you know he can progress quite a lot. He's only seventeen. His determination isn't bad. Advanced playmaker. I don't mind changing things when we're this you know far ahead. And I'm gonna take Jota off for Malcolm. And I'm gonna swap these two around because Malcolm's been playing really well on that right hand side. Hopefully we can get another couple of goals. Oh, De Ligt is injured. Out of everyone that wants to get injured, it certainly isn't him. Stefan De Vry. Obviously a good replacement to come in straight away there. Alexander-Arnold down the wing. Oh, bad pass. Or bad cross, I should say. Cross shot, it looked like. Uber kicks it up. Come on, we're going to get it. I have a feeling they're going to score here. Debock. 
from Bergen. The Abbey. Oof. Sail wide. That would have been some goal the commentator on the game said. Or the commentary at the bottom. I think we've got this in the bag. Oh. Our left back is injured now as well. Jones to Chamberlain to Firmino to Malcolm to Alexander Arnold. Cross one in. Oh, Firmino. Oh, I think Mane should have done better there. Oh, for God's sakes. He is, he is injured as well. You know what? If I could put Alexander Arnold there and I pull Henderson right back, it's not too bad. Can I just take? How do I just take him off? Or is he off? I think he must just be off. Yeah, he is. Oh well. Malcolm, no. Nope. The Bock. Hubert. Might be worthwhile checking out the um the Club Brugger um under nineteens or whatever it is that they have. Because usually they have decent players. Very happy with the result and the way we played. That's six out of six in the Champions League group that we were in. Vanagra's only out for one to two days. Oh, for God's sakes, three to six weeks. I'm going to leave it to the physio. I don't want to give him injections because it's just going to make things worse. Uh, and let me just... Oh, for God's sakes, you want an improved deal? Let's see how big played. We had a quiet game. So before we go, I'm going to have a quick look. I think what I'm going to do... Oh my god, we've got that game as well. Oh, we've got those games as well, the Club World Championship. We've got so many games to play at the moment. And obviously those injuries aren't going to help us at all. I I'm thinking that I'm going to come back for this game. And then we'll play... I'll play the Watford game off camera and then come and then play the Tottenham game on camera. So thank you very much for watching. If you have liked the episode, please hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed, then please feel free to subscribe. Also leave a comment. And thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.